love Shakey's Garlic Shrimp Pizza. Now just $15.99 for a limited time only. Get it before it's gone. When a truck hit my car, the insurance company wasn't fair. I didn't know what my case was worth, so I called the Barnes firm. I'm Rich Barnes. It's hard for people to know how much their accident case is worth. Let our injury attorneys help you get the best result possible. Now at noon, breaking news, a woman opens fire on students and staff members at a Nashville school, killing six people. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Three children are among the dead at Covenant School, described as a private Christian school. The shooter is also dead. Authorities now identify, identify her as a 28-year-old woman after first describing her as a teenage girl. They say she was carrying two assault-style rifles and a pistol when she was shot and killed by police officers who encountered her on the school's second floor. She entered the school through a side entrance and traversed her way from the first floor to the second floor, firing multiple shots. Police have yet to identify the three students and three adult staff members killed at the school, which serves students from preschool to sixth grade. KTLA 5's Kareen Winter is following all the developments and we'll have a live report coming up on the KTLA 5 News at 1 o'clock. Closer here to home, two homes have been evacuated in Pacific Palisades after part of a hillside collapse. KTLA 5's Lauren Lister joining us now live in that neighborhood where the damage is being inspected. Lauren. Yeah, Glenn and Lou knew at this hour, the city's building and safety department, a couple of workers are here assessing the hill slide behind me. Take a look. You can see where the dirt came down the hill and is piled up against a home. That house is red tagged. Eight people inside were evacuated, four adults and four children. And then up on the hill, at the top of the hill, there are two homes yellow tagged. Entry is restricted. Take a look. L.A. Fire Department responded to this last night, reporting a 20,000 square foot area of hillside Sloughed off. Fire officials say it has moved even more since last night when they first responded. We are on the 900 block of Las Lomas. Luckily, no one was injured. We did speak to one of the homeowners whose house was yellow tagged. He was evacuated overnight and described the slide as happening gradually. He did take some photos. Look at this. So he says he first noticed a crack in his backyard yesterday. Uh, didn't think too much of it, but did take some photos. But he says it progressively got worse over the course of the last 20 24 hours. And I look at some of the trees that my wife planted, and it was this big, and I see the top here. And I go back and look, it sunk more. And you said you've been here 15 years, you've never worried about that hill before? Never, never. He doesn't want to move. This is where my mom passed away four years ago, so yeah. we're going to do as much as we can for him to move back. That's his, the homeowner's son who uh, is having his dad stay with him right now while they assess what's up with the house. Uh, they don't have a firm reason for why this happened, but they speculate it's due to all the rain we've had and concerns now from some of the neighbors on the street about the upcoming rain because back out here live, you know you've been hearing Casey talk about that next round of rain due to begin on Wednesday. Now, we have reached out to the city's building and safety department to see what's next because a couple of the workers we spoke to hinted that the status of the homes could change. I mentioned two yellow tagged, one red tagged, so there might be some update and adjustment there. We'll keep on it for now. That's the latest live here in the Pacific Palisades. I'll send it back to you. Lauren, thank you. A storm that spawned deadly tornadoes in the south is lingering in that region. 26 people were killed over the weekend in a series of twisters that slammed Mississippi. One of the deaths was in Alabama. The most devastation came from an EF4 tornado that packed winds between 166 to 200 miles per hour. One caught a path of destruction about 60 miles long. The towns of Rolling Fork and Silver City, Mississippi, were hit particularly hard. And by the time they initiated the siren, on the siren that's located right over here. President Biden declared a state of emergency for Mississippi, clearing the way for federal aid. In all, five states were hit by at least 27 tornadoes, including Louisiana, 
Tennessee.